Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil 7. Home movie time with Evelyn is over. It's time to get back to exploring the ship, and apparently there's nothing up here. Remember, we came out to the uh, third floor landing and went into the room with the VCR and Evelyn in it. Uh, I guess there was nothing up there. So where else got... I think I pried open the elevator, right? Before the whole flashback sequence started? That's safe to go down. There's a hatch and a ladder upwards. Gonna have to come back for the hatch later. Only one way to go. What a thrill. I'm searching and I'll melt into you. What a fear in my heart. But your soul supreme. There's not shit up here. Uh, there's a little hatch. But wait, we just climbed up to drop back down. So does this put us somewhere we couldn't get to on the third floor? No, this is the fourth floor. So did we... Okay, did we climb up to the fifth floor and then drop to the fourth? Since the, uh, the stairway up to the fourth was blocked? Oh, this is an eerie room. Oh, and we've more the the people petrified in mol and remote bombs. They almost made it out of the ship. This uh this section feels a little bit lacking in in direction, but atmospherically I kind of like it. Hey, there's the machine gun from the flashback. Okay, so that's in here. Uh, which is the captain's cabin. Wow, this is, there's a lot of ship here. A lot of ship. More ship than I was expecting. Okay, so this is the only thing I didn't do in the bridge. This is going to be like a uh, spooky jump scare at the camera moment. No, no. Ethan. I hope I make it in time. Okay. So, S2. Bottom level. Bottom level sub-basement 2. Oh! Liar! Damn it, Evelyn! <laughs> Fucking hallucinations. Where is she? Wait, was she hallucinating the handprints on her wrist too? Like those were clearly some kind of like, um, what would you call them? Uh, ligature marks on her on her wrist. Okay. Oh, we have another elevator shaft to pry open. Uh, this looks like a nasty drop. So what is the point of... I guess I could... No, I don't have a jump button. What am I talking about? I was thinking I could jump to the the ladder. I mean, I guess since I could probably open it, it's safe. That looks... Sketchy. And I was... Hey, another remote bomb. These things are awesome. That's completely sealed off. I was so ready for there to be like a, um, something coming at the camera while I was looking at the security footage. Yeah, okay, that's safe. And this is where I was before, right? Yeah, 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 the hatch. And since I have the lug wrench now, I can open the hatch up. Cable is completely fried. We had a replacement, but had to use it to fix something on the third floor sick bay. Uh, sick bay. 
Can't get down there unless we have this thing working, Dwayne. Okay, so third floor sick bay. That's somewhere to go. So I can get something to fix the, elega uh, the elevator. Missing a cable and a few. Oh, hello. So this is the second floor where the flashback primarily took place. And then below me is the first floor where I started off on. Like where I first encountered the uh, the four-legged molded on the ship. Okay, so let's see if we can do anything in present. Whoa! Maybe not. Maybe not. I really love that even though they can't get through the doors and the loading screen tips even tell you about that, they still thrash violently against the doors. It startles you. It makes you think, no, maybe they can get through. Like it overrides that rational part of your brain. It's good horror. Good horror design. So this, I don't think we had access to in the flashback. Lockpick! Yeah, I know exactly where I'm going. Hey. Uh, I'm not wasting a bullet on that. I have 13. I know exactly what to do with that lockpick, though. Hello? Uh, we are not touching that. Should only do one. That way it'll make it easier to close the door behind me when I run out of here. Mmm. <laughs> they severely deep out. Oh, that's a Trevor, too. Uh, I can also get out through. Fuck, come on. Pick the shit up. Ah, not done exploring yet. This is me. Uh, this is easy to get through. Can't follow me through the door or the crawl space. And all that goo exploded or dissolved into a puddle on the floor. Yeah, come on. Come fuck with my remote bomb. Wasn't able to grab that before. <laughs> this door was also not available. So... Ooh, I don't like that. That noise? So what do we have here? Uh, just flip them all right side. Well, I guess not. So only one of them has a right side up. Ah, uh, they correspond to the ones on the opposite side. So... Purple in the upper left, and... Green on top. That did it. So what do we get for doing that? Oh, a bunch of corrosives. So that is part of the modern day stuff. Ooh, bye, Trevor. Bye, Felicia. So far, so good. Haven't had to use any handgun bullets. Haven't had to use any of my new... Rem you have no arms. Now you have no legs. How can an armless one possibly be a threat, though? Can they bite you? Hmm. Oh, yeah, I did pick the knife up. Finally got that knife. Looks much longer than Ethan's pocket knife, too. Uh, and this, the room with Alan, uh, where Alan used to be, is now a safe room. Same memo from before about the uh, imprinting. Which I still really like that justification for Evelyn for. So get the machine gun, find the captain's cabin locker key. Got it. Find power cable and the fuse. So third floor sick base up next, I guess. And then I have the fuse on the first floor. Uh, that general purpose fuse that I used to power something. That's why I can get to either the second or the third floor, or uh, the second or the first floor from the elevator shaft being kind of halfway down. That's why I can do that. So the captain's cabin key, that's the thing that I really need right now. Strong chem fluid, that's not bad. Hey, speak of the devil. Yeah, the strong chem fluid's really, really appreciated right now, especially since I just found some gunpowder earlier on in the boardroom with Trevor. 16 years since the Nightmare of Raccoon City! Hey! I wonder if that was written by Alyssa Ashcroft, too. Ah, more gunpowder. So, in a pinch, I can make myself some more, uh, handgun bullets. Some good ones at that. In fact, I can make a regular set and an enhanced set right now. 
so I'm not that hard up on ammo anymore. And I have the remote bombs to back myself up with. Okay, so we have a stairwell here. Oh, I can get back up to, uh, to the third floor from this stairwell, too. No, this is the only... No, no, wait. No, I could take the ladder back up and do, go, like, that big roundabout path, but... The stairwell here is just for convenience. Let me go open that orange box up with the lockpick. And then we can also grab, uh... The machine gun. And there's a corrosive up here, too. Hey, third antique coin. This is why I feel pretty confident that we're going to be going back to Ethan pretty soon. Uh, because we can't access any of the stuff in Ethan's safe boxes, but we're still getting antique coins. So at some point we have to switch back to Ethan and dump all of Mia's inventory to him. Which also means that we're going to be going back to the yard. The only other possibility is that we're just getting coins to use on New Game Plus. Oh man. Oh, horror game bathrooms. So skeezy. So which stall? No, none of them? I heard something. Which stall are you popping out of? Holy shit. Nice. A lot of strong chem fluid. I'm just waiting. Oh man, I can't believe nothing popped out of this stall. This game's finding ways to, uh, there it is. Where? To subvert my expectations in a lot of cases. Where? In here? Are you coming out that way? I don't see it anywhere. Did not spawn in yet? Oh, the music just died down. Okay. So this looks like the power cable. And then the other side. Oh, come on! Oh, come on! <laughs> that sucks. Aww. Oh, I know where you were coming from. You spawned in the room- in the bathroom. Ugh. Bastard. Did that not even stagger him? Maybe that didn't hit him dead on. Oh, that's not good. That had to have hit him. Well. At least that one knocked him down. It was a little bit behind him. Let's not waste too many of the remote ball. Eesh. I blocked that in time. Ooh. God. These things are a lot. Fuck. Ugh. Are you not dead yet? Holy shit. And I backed myself into a dead end. Like a narrow one. Uh, there's another remote bomb behind me, which is not bad. Jesus Christ. Those things are a lot scarier when you don't have a bunch of flame rounds on you. More corrosives. I only used, what, three of them so far. Alright, now let's safely get these. Or this. I think this is the power cable I was saying we need for the elevator. So now, uh, what else do we have to do? We have to go to the fourth floor, get the machine gun out of the captain's quarters. Then go back down to the first floor. Grab the general purpose fuse. And I think there was also a door I could use a corrosive on. If I remember that right. There was some kind of stuck door down there. Uh, when I was there uh, the first time. Then... What? We have the elevator and that's it. Okay. So earlier on... Uh, I was reading up on the Resident Evil 7 Director's GDC talk. You know when, when Mia cuts Ethan's hand off in the beginning of the game? 
the reason they did that is to punch up the drama in the beginning. But did you know that their first idea, like their first idea, was to uh, she was gonna take the chainsaw and cut Ethan in half at the torso. Oh, this looks. Why does this look worse than when I was here like a half hour ago? Mmm, we got some respawns too. There's nothing in here. Aside from the gun that I already picked up. This is what happens. I hear something, I get spooked, I lose my train of thought. General purpose views. Thought that sound was a monster coming up behind me. No, I do hear it though. I don't think it noticed me. Uh, and this to my left is the corrosive door. Uh, yeah, the, she was gonna cut him in half at the torso. And it gets even better. Oh, yeah! Another backpack! But wait, that means there's gonna be way more of this section, or way more game still. I thought I was near the end. If they're if they're throwing another backpack at me... Wow, there's still a chunk left. I don't know what to think about that. Um... Oh, shit. Oh, uh, later on... This didn't happen to me because I managed to stealth the section, but you know when you, uh, when you first get to roam around the house? Well, if Jack catches you there, he can cut your leg off and force you to crawl towards him. Uh, towards a first aid med in order to reattach it. That also comes from the first draft plan of that chainsaw sequence. Because as a torso, as Ethan the Torso Boy, um, the idea was you would have to army crawl and drag your torso to a safe room. And then heal up with the first aid meds. Like, the gore was going to be so much more over the top. That's why the working title for Resident Evil 7, while it was in development, was Guts. Oh shit! I knew I heard one somewhere on this level. Oh, and then maybe Ethan could drag himself into a safe room and get a glowing piece of that radical rock. Ethan would get that aggro crag. I also found out something that in retrospect makes a ton of sense. Uh, the director for this game is the same one who directed it's Revelations. Waiting. And the writer was a consultant, and that writer was one of the narrative leads for Spec Ops The Line. That explains a lot to me. Since this feels like equal parts homage to and deconstruction of Resident Evil. Ooh, hello. It's another, like, hobbling Trevor one. Well, we don't need to stick around. We g uh... That's what happens. They try to sandwich you in between them, because that one's going to fall behind me. Yeah, so they hired uh, an outside consultant to help make this game's story comprehensible and engaging. Holy shit. Oh, this is not good. Oh. I'm disappointed at how I died there. I don't think I like the machine gun very much. Uh, I think I, in, in fact, I hate it. I think I hate the machine gun. It's nice if you can use it in place of another weapon to finish something off that's wounded, but man, it does not feel like it has the accuracy or the stopping power to rely upon in a pinch. Like, even there, I was trying to just spray that thing down to stagger it. And that was not going well. Eh. I'm better at time. Like, you have to get headshots with this gun, but it's super inaccurate.
Mm. Eh, I might just be complaining about something that I don't have the experience to use right right now. Uh, it might actually be pretty good. I don't know. My first impression is pretty negative, though. Alright, so do we still have dudes crawling around here? Oh, yeah. Actually, no, you're new. You weren't here in uh, the flashback sequence. But I am retreading that ground. So out of the new weapons that we picked up in this sequence... Oh, shit. Fatty. Another one. Uh, I'm not playing games with this one this time. I can't believe that doesn't even stagger him. That's incredible. Takes two to knock him out on his ass. Wow. It took two to straight up kill him that time. I think this is like a, a Resident Evil 3 situation where you would damage variability between hits. Like they see every weapon seems to have um, a range of damage that it can do, kind of like an RPG. I mean, I've noticed that up till now in the game with the handgun, but it feels a little bit strange. I might just be crazy. <laughs> Oh, we do still have more uh, corrosives to use. We have two more. I wonder if they just give you too many. In case you miss some. Hmm. Try to scan for any corrosive doors that I have left. No. Unless I'm just blind, which is, you know, always a possibility. Hey there, Evelyn. Ethan. Ethan. Hey, shh, shh, shh. I know, I know, I know. I'm not gonna hurt you. Hell, I never would have if I could have helped you. What do you mean? I'm no killer, son. Neither is Marguerite. No more boy Lucas. Or even Zoe here. That girl Evelyn. She did this. What the hell is she? Now what did she do to you? She infected us with her gift. That's what she calls it. I found her near a busted out tank in the bayou. Everything changed after that. So she infects you and then she takes control? No. Not exactly, son. She just... She forces a way into your mind, your soul. You can't fight back. You are connected to her and you can't resist the urge to... You're a different person after that. Just like Mia. So Mia sent me that message because of Evelyn. Listen, the girl just wants a family of her own. She's the key. All right? You find her, and you stop her. Don't you dare. So what? <laughs> you 
You're not my mom. Remember? Of course she got reinfected. Oh, they did it. Mm. Little bitch. Where the fuck are you? Fuck. Oh, I'm livid right now. They dropped all my shit. Oh, I wonder if that's balance tuning for the final boss. Oh, that's a cool effect. Like in case you come in here with too much you know, ammunition that it would trivialize the final boss. They drop everything off of you. Fuck, that sucks. That's terrible. Oh, man. But of all the characters, I didn't think the Bakers would get that sympathetic, redemptive moment. But it does make sense. Like, they were more or less just bystanders being puppeted by Evelyn. And we've known about our mind control stuff for most of the game, so... It's not like that comes completely out of left field. I hear a helicopter. Oh, I'm sure that's gonna go swimmingly for the helicopter pilot. No, all the fish are dead. I gotta say, I think that scene was incredibly well done. Like, I really have to commend Jack's a voice actor, too. I like the Bakers as, as tragic antagonists. I, I like the Bakers in general. Like, they've been really, really good throughout the game. Like, they've been by far my favorite Resident Evil villains. We got enhanced handgun. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, there was a collapse in the Patterson mine. Tuan and Beckford are dead. Huxley will never walk on his own again. Old Man Stan was right. The ground there is too unstable. This is from 1892. <laughs> Company is not going to send us any replacements. They want us to work double shifts instead. Can't wait to get back to the old country. I wonder if this is like 1892 Umbrella. <laughs> uh, Abercrombie Salt Mine, South Dolby. Yeah, I'm in the salt mine after losing all my shit. Is that an umbrella copter? I'm trying to- I can't get a better look at the logo, it's too low res. Are they watching us from the helicopter? Is that the helicopter we just saw? Alpha 1, this is Bravo 1, do you read? This is Alpha 1, report. Did you find anything? A thorough search of the Baker property revealed zero survivors. Repeat, zero survivors. We did find evidence of a skirmish. Evelyn? Negative. However, we did find several encrypted messages from the Baker's son, Lucas, to an unknown third party. You can probably guess who that was. That's just great. We've had reports using the abandoned mine south of the property. I'm gonna go have a look. Roger that. We'll meet you at those coordinates. If you encounter Evelyn, orders are shoot to kill. Repeat. Shoot to kill. Lucas was working with them. Oh, it was Lucas's fault. Hey, my bird cages, so we're not going back to the yard. A simple ass map. No, I have to have the. Okay, all my stuff is gonna be in the uh, in the safe box, right? Because otherwise, how the hell am I getting those coins back? You've taken me as things, and I better have my old stuff too. Yeah, the croaky. I see that. I see the shot. Yeah. Oh. Why did I ever doubt you, RE7? You're so good. Why did I ever doubt this game? This good-ass, good game. Oh, that's gonna do it for now. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take it easy. Have a good one.